What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here, and today we're back with another review. This time we're going to be comparing these two keyboards. This is the Logitech K830. This is the Logitech K600. Now, I've done reviews on both of these, so we want to see which one is going to be best for you and which one is going to be best for your wallet. Let's check them out. But before we do, please be sure and subscribe to my channel. Be sure and give me that thumbs up so I can keep making you great reviews, giving you great quality content. So as promised, I told you last week um, I was going to do a review on these two keyboards. This one is K830. This one is K600. Since this one is the lower in the series, let's start with the K600. Now, notice K600 has trackpad over here. It is tactile full keyboard, circular keys with grooves in them. It's going to allow your fingers to sit nicely right in there. Then you have the multi device feature up here. So this one, you're going to be able to click one, two, and three and switch between three devices at any time. Also comes with a USB dongle that you can plug into your smart TV or your smart devices. And then it has mouse buttons over here trackpad over here with control panel over here you actually get your own off switch right up here on the top so that lets you know if it's on or off right there now I'm not gonna be doing a demo with these because I've already done a review of both of these keyboards just know that this is a nice nice keyboard that you're gonna be able to use for a good long time now also has device features up here brightness dim up and down on your volumes play pause all that good stuff everything comes in handy on this keyboard now one of the upsides to this keyboard here the K600 is the K600 has the multi device feature so you're going to be able to control one two three devices right there with those numbers one of the drawbacks you have to replace the batteries on this one now it does have these nice feet on the bottom Got your K600 branding right there by Logitech. But this is a keyboard that is going to do everything that you needed to do. Now, depending on where you buy this at and when you get it, you're going to be able to catch this from anywhere from about 50 bucks to 60 bucks. So it's a really good buy and it's going to be something that you're going to be able to hold on to for a while and use with multiple devices across your Windows, your Android, as well as your iOS devices. It connects to iPads. It connects to Samsung tablets. It connects to your Fire TVs. It connects to your Android TVs. Now, your Android TV has to be of a model, specific model of Samsung with Tizen built into it, a Sony Bravia, or it has to be a specific Android type TV. So very good buy for your money. It's going to come in handy and it's going to be able to get you a lot of use all the way across the board. Now let's talk about this one. This is the K830. This is the newest one in my arsenal. Now keys are square over here. They still match up really well with the fingers. Everything works really good. You get a trackpad over here, but you do not have a tactile trackpad. Now, by tapping your trackpad, you can still make selections and you can make selections with these buttons right here. This keyboard is Bluetooth connected as well as just like this one over here. You're going to be able to use your Bluetooth. It also comes with a USB dongle. But this keyboard only connects to one device at a time. Yes, one device at a time. That's one of the drawbacks. But one of the best features about this keyboard is it is backlit. So this keyboard has a light on it. If you can see it right here. Let it go out. Let it go down. Please go down. Go down. There we go. Just went down. As soon as you touch it, lights back up. So in a dark room and dark setting at night, when you're using this keyboard, you're going to be able to have your backlit keys. Everything is going to be good to go. Keys are going to be nice and backlit. Everything's going to be really good. You're going to be able to use this in any type of room, no matter how dim or how bright it is. Another good thing about this keyboard is this keyboard actually has lithium batteries. So you're going to be able to charge this keyboard up. It's going to give you a good bit of charge. Both of these keyboards are going to be able to have 
up to months of charge per battery. They actually have sleep functions, so that you don't have to worry about the batteries just going dead if you leave them on. They actually go to sleep and they conserve your battery life. So, which one of these is going to be best for you? I can tell you right now, for me, the choice is really simple because I have a lot of Bluetooth devices and I use a lot of things at one time. This keyboard is going to be great for me just because I can control up to three devices at one time. For productivity, this one is my go-to. For entertainment, this one is my go-to. When I'm in the bedroom, I'm watching Netflix, I need to type in something on the TV. I have a Sony Bravia as I show you in the video for the demonstration for this keyboard. I have my Sony Bravia, I'm in the bedroom in the dark. I got my nice backlit keys. I got my USB charger right by the bed. Everything that I need is handy for entertainment. So. 40 to 50 bucks over here. This one is going to run you 60 to 70 bucks right here. K600 by Logitech. K830 by Logitech. Just depends on how much money you want to spend right now. Both are great keyboards in their own ways. But for right now, I'm choosing this one. But just because one, two, and three, I'm able to use multiple devices all at one time with this keyboard. So hope this is able to help someone. Until next time, be sure and give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out. Peace.